What's up, what's up, Facebook, YouTube fam? Darren Fry here, out here at beautiful Red Rock Canyon, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's been a pretty hectic 12 hours, and you know, I'm waiting for this tow truck, I'll fill you guys in in a minute, um, to come take my car so I can get my tire replaced. And I wanted to kind of break down what exactly has been going on, because it's taught me a powerful lesson. And while I'm waiting, I thought I'd make a video to share with you guys. So. We came here last night around 7 p.m. and the sun is kind of going down so it's not like 100 plus degrees. I mean, we hiked this rock, myself, Austin Umbarger, and my other friend Jonathan Chrysler. And you know, the gates at the front close at 8 p.m. Um, so we finished the hike around 8 p.m. It's like pretty dark already. And when we get back to my car, I go to pull out of this driveway, or this parking lot, whatever. And I hear some weird noises. I'm like, okay, what's up? What's that noise? Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't sound right. And I go to find out that there's this big ass nail that I must have drove over on my way out. And my tire is super duper flat. <laughs> so you know, I was like kind of frustrated at that moment. Like, okay, cool. What's, what's the universe trying to teach me? It's obviously trying to teach me something. It's trying to teach me patience or teach me how to, you know, remain in control of my emotions or respond to the situation the right way so we're like okay cool let's pull over and let's put the spare on and drive home simple so we go to put the spare on and none of the tools that they gave me fit the bolts of my tires so i can't remove my flat tire which is weird but maybe it's because i have a pre-owned car that you know they switched out the bolts um so we're like okay the spare won't go on so you know i'm not going to total my car or mess up my rim and try to drive anywhere like what else can we do and luckily my homie Jonathan Chrysler is like, hey, I have a AAA membership, it's a premium, I can call a tow truck, it's like, it'll probably take a while, but it'll get here. I'm like, I, I really don't wanna leave my car here overnight, but let's, let's call this tow truck. So the tow truck comes out here, long story short, hour and a half later, it gets to the front of the gate that's locked, and they turn around. And we get a call saying, hey, they, they left, they turned around, the gate was closed, they can come back in the morning, and we're like, we're stuck inside of this, this open, canyon areas like about to get abducted by aliens or something <laughs> literally stuck out here and um yeah it's just crazy because it was just one thing after another the universe is just constantly sending us lessons and lessons and lessons um and, and this is just important is your state of mind like there's so many things in life you can't control um, and you can't dwell on the things you can't control. You want to focus on the things you can control, which is your perception, your emotions, your state of mind. And, and that's kind of what I feel like the universe was teaching us last night. I mean, we were starving, we were tired, we were ready to go home and eat and sleep. Uh, and we were just stranded in the middle of a canyon, under the moon, under the stars. It was pretty beautiful. It was honestly like, okay, there's worse places to be stranded on the side of the road, but we did feel pretty stuck. It's like we're far from everything. Um, so long story short is like, yeah, they say they're sending another tow truck. It's going to take another hour and a half to get there. We've been waiting here for over two hours already, just chilling, trying to figure out what to do. Luckily there's service down the road. There's no service. Um, and it's just like, it's almost midnight already. <laughs> and we're just here like, what do we do? And we end up just pulling my car into this parking lot so we can get it in the morning, which is why I'm here waiting for the tow truck to come again, but the gates open. So we'll be all good. Um, and then my roommate Brendan Teeger drove out here and picked us up and took us home. So, you know, like I was saying, what lesson did I learn through all of this is that, you know, life isn't happening to you. Life is happening for you. And every obstacle, every struggle that you overcome or that you encounter, um, it's there for you to overcome it. It's there for you to learn a lesson. It's there for you to get better. So you have to come at life from the perspective of life isn't happening to you. There's nothing personal that it's trying to it's trying to attack you for it's happening for you and what that means is that there's going to be struggles there's going to be complications and it's all there to help teach you a lesson to help you grow to the best version of yourself to reach your highest potential life isn't happening to you it's happening for you so while this was all going on it's like okay it's easy to lose your temper i used to always lose my temper back when i was in high school um, I could have had a temper tantrum, could have got all angry, but it's like, no, every 60 seconds that I'm angry is 60 seconds of happiness that I lose forever. And those of you who know me know that I'm all about happiness, health, wealth, and happiness. It's like how I embody my life. Um, so it's like I wasn't willing to just give up my positive emotions for some situation that I wasn't even in control of. You know, I'm gonna control my response to the situation and I'm not gonna react to it. So, you know, what did I do? 
I immediately started thinking of all the things that could have gone wrong. I could have driven on the road and noticed I had a flat and totaled my car. I could have went down the road where there's no service. It could have been so much worse. And in the big speck of things, there's so many people in this world who deal with so many more real problems when it comes to food and water and having a roof over their head that it's like this problem is so little. For me to get angry about it is literally so arrogant it is so arrogant and, and almost ignorant you know and it's like I, I recognize that this is not a problem that I necessarily have to deal with it's a problem that I get to deal with that I'm blessed to deal with the fact that I even have this amazing car that I manifested through my success in previous businesses is a blessing and be, just because I have to deal with a flat tire something that was out of my control I wasn't gonna let it bring my emotional state down right because it's not about reacting to these situations it's about responding um, strategically responding so you know like I was saying um, it's just all about realizing the perception that you're in control of because um, there's these positive people and they live in a very positive world and there's also these negative people who live in a very negative world but at the end of the day you have to recognize that it's the same world they live on it's their perception and their state of mind that dictates what kind of world they live in and my mentor Jonathan Amaret says it best Reality is based off an individual's perception and interpretation of energy frequency. So when you realize that everything in life is energy, subatomically atoms are 99.9% .9 empty space, it's like our perception is what creates our reality. And, and people who have a positive perception on life have a positive, happy life. And that's the life that I want, so I'm going to control my perception. And I'm going to look at everything as a learning lesson. I'm going to look at everything as something that's there to help me grow. So whenever life throws obstacles at you, because believe me it will, make sure you look at it with the right state of mind, with the right perspective. Think about all the things you're grateful for, it'll immediately shift your emotions to a positive emotion. Immediately think about how much worse it could have gone, immediately think of all the things that other people you know, would be praying to deal with the issues like that we deal with. And you know, just respond court, like the right way, you know, respond and don't get too you know, sucked into your reaction to these situations because it is easy to lose yourself. And and my advice to you guys is to remember that an entire ocean can't sink a ship if unless the water actually gets inside of the ship. So it's your responsibility to keep complete res complete control and protection of your state of mind. Don't let any of this ever get inside of you because if you're happy within, you're going to manifest a happy life outside of yourself. And that's my message of the day, guys. Hopefully this tow truck comes here soon and I can get on with my life because this has kind of put a halt on a lot of things I've been trying to do. But it's okay because it's here to teach me a lesson. So with that, cheers to your health, wealth, and happiness. Hope you all have an amazing week. I'll talk to you guys soon. Yes, the tow truck is finally here. See what happens when you guys put good vibes in the universe. Finally, things work out.